This is gonna be a special weekend. This is really one of the most special things that Kelton and Megan are gonna do in their life. We are all the closest circle for them. We are one with them. Your friends and your family and the people that gravitate around you and really says something about the person that you are. And I think with Megan's friends, Kelton's friends, and the families, it really says a lot about, you know, who, who these two are. Kelton is an awesome guy, great to go fishing with, great to go hunting with, and uh, many, many more times of you drilling holes for me. Um, and welcome to the family. We are so proud of both of you and love you both so much. There is nothing this guy would love more than to talk to somebody at the bar a little bit about fishing, on and on. They talk about their eye on, whatever's going on. I'm like, all right, this guy's made for Megan. This is like a match made in heaven. She's the responsible cousin in the group, and uh, really glad to have Kelton join the family and just thankful to have you as a cousin, Maggie. So, congratulations. You know, after not seeing Kelton a lot the last how many years, the smile on his face today says it all. Megan, again, I, I don't know you from Adam, but the man's happy. He is very happy. <laughs> Megan, since, the <laughs> since you were born, it's been awesome. Every time we got together, it was like yesterday. You've been an awesome, awesome person. Susan and I just have enjoyed you so, so much, and, and just thank you for everything, okay? You have chosen an awesome guy. He is gracious, he's kind, I've never seen him not smile. <laughs> He's just a wonderful guy. It's as if a wonderful friend has joined our family. Love always protects, it trusts, it hopes, and it preserves. True love never fails. God bless you. Thank you, Dave. Very nice job. Fabulous. My love for you is so Hi everyone, I'm Kelton's sister. Um, I just have a few words to share. Um, so obviously there's someone that's not here with us tonight. Um, and I just think that if mom was here, she would just say like, good job on picking your lady Kelton and welcome to the family, Megan. And we're missing a person as you all know. The blessing of today was when Kelton and I were walking down the aisle carrying a rose. That represented a very special person in our life. There is a respect, Megan, that he has for you that is above any other I've seen him display other than his mother. You are right there with her in his heart. Embrace that. He loves you like none other. The two of you are such an amazing couple. There is so much love here between the two of you. It is just so amazing to be here with you. I've been away Bringing all my love from Georgia And I'm gonna lay Under endless skies of emerald light We can't drift away I wanna slow it down with water. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord For this celebration, my dear brothers and sisters And now we stand with Kelton and Megan on the day they intend to form a home of their own. Let us listen attentively with them to the Word of God speaking to us today.
Love you. <laughs> you have to look. Don't cry. Look. You have to look. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a beautiful bride. No. Oh. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I, Kelton, take you, Megan, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Megan, take you, Kelton, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we pray for God's generous and continuous blessings on Mr. and Mrs. Reinert. I can remember, Megan, the day that you were born. You and Mom were in the hospital. And I went home, and it was Megan came at like 11:30 during the day. She didn't want to miss lunch, <laughs> so I drove from the hospital, and I had like a big wave of responsibility. I'm gonna have to take care of this another person. I'm already taking care of one. 25 years later, I still I, I still feel this sense of responsibility. But at this juncture, I'm handing some of that responsibility off, Kel. So now you're up. You got the keys to the Ferrari. Because I know, Kelton, that you'll take care of my little girl. Megan stole my heart first. She's obviously stole your heart. I'm entrusting you to keep her heart locked up. same path this might be our biggest branch point but I know for a fact that you are the most loving and capable hand Shoot, I said I wasn't gonna cry it's okay <laughs> always make your spouse your best friend you guys always do always do that so I'm not concerned communication is the foundation to a good relationship but there are always two parts to communication that are speaking and listening so Meg make sure that you're speaking to Kelton and Kelton Try your damnedest to make sure that she's listening to you. <laughs> got to asking you how you and Kelt were doing because he was out of state and you said you guys were doing great but the next thing that you said that really stuck with me and I knew if I ever had the chance to say it this would be the time but you told me that you and Kelton no matter what happened would always be great because when you met Kelton and got to know him that you had met the man that you were gonna marry someday and Megan I can honestly say you were right and today is that day Megan, you found yourself a good one. Congratulations, you guys. I love you. Cheers. Egg, you know I had to say it, but this is officially the two of you leveling up. I'm so proud of you. So everyone, please join me in raising a glass to the new couple. Cheers to the Reinerts. We love you guys.